Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. We're at the K River Campground, and today I'm gonna show you guys something that's really cool. I say you guys, you guys and gals, but it's gonna be cool. It's this van camp out culture. You guys know I love traveling and camping by motorcycle. You've seen me do it off-road. You know I've been getting into the camping off on these off-road vehicles. Camping is just something I enjoy. There's just something about the great outdoors and the nature. This is a van life culture group that started rolling into the campground yesterday, and I gotta say it was pretty cool to watch all these different style vans come in, and they're vans with character. They're not um, all just you know, super fancy vans. I mean, there are a lot of them are old school, vintage vans that these guys are doing the van life culture in. That culture really showed last night when it came to the nightlife. <laughs> folks had a great time down here on the river. They were uh, playing their music and they had little makeshift bars set up and dancing and campfires. Truly what you expect to see out of a group as rad and hip as this Van Life crew. So these vans, uh, I guess they've been doing this for about five years now, this type of meetup. And these vans have actually come in mainly from Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Dallas. And the Cave River is a perfect spot for those cities. It's basically two to two and a half hours drive from any one of those cities. So we're, you know, right in the middle. So last night, this was kind of the bar set up area these, these folks had set up here. And there's some pretty good parties going. But this is a group out of Oklahoma City. They are called the Vanimals. <laughs> the Vanimals, I love it. And they've got this great logo. Check out this logo. This thing lights up in the middle of the night. Last night it was all lit up down here around the campfire. It's pretty cool. These boys here are the Boogie Vans from Texas. So basically they hold this event and all these different van groups and clubs come together to just camp and have a good time. Your mother made that? No, she bought it. She bought it? Yeah. And you call it a what? Hobo sweater. Hobo sweater. We can't say hobo these days, man. We can't? I think we can. We can say hobo on my channel. Hell, I was a hobo for five years. So I'm standing here with Victory. What's up? Victory, where are you from? Hearst, Texas. Let's take a look inside your van. Tell me about it. <laughs> You're going to describe the van. Will you describe your van? Uh, Tell this, me about it. Uh, this is a brand new one. We just picked it up. The 2021 uh, Express. It's got the uh, 400 small block. Very cool. So you got a bed in there. You got yep. a bed in there. You got a, um, you got a, a roulette table. Is that roulette? Is that from roulette there? Yeah. <laughs> it's roulette loving. Roulette, roulette loving. Roulette loving. <laughs> he might get some, he might not. <laughs> He had that customized. So what, that opens up in its storage? Yeah. yeah just storage. Perfect. I love it. I am digging the van culture. Too cool. Yeah. Hey, have y'all hit that subscribe button yet? If not, please hit that subscribe button now and go to adamsandoval.com and get your latest merch. You're stubborn, stubborn, stubborn American. So uh, here we've got the Tulsa Time VC. He says it's uh, a van club, and I dig it. And I love the old TW, man. That's wicked cool. Is that yours? Yeah. That's wicked cool. Thank you. I'm about to ride it up to the bathrooms. You're about to ride it up to the bathrooms? <laughs> That'll be perfect, man. That's a good way to get around the campground. So uh, you guys are out here on the river. This is nice, huh? You guys got the good spot. Oh, this is the best spot right here. I really enjoy the water. So tell me about the uh, the meetup you hosted here. And I love your hat, by the way. Let me show everybody your hat. That's dope. <laughs> I tell you. What do we got going on here? Fifth annual van revival. Just trying to get together some vanners just for the love of vanning really is what it's all about. It's not necessarily the, even the van itself. It's just getting the people together. We've got a pretty good draw. What's the name of this one? The Poon Schooner. The Poon Schooner is a what year van? A 77 Dodge B200. It's got crushed velvet floor to ceiling, LED booger lights front to back. We've got the velvet painting of the Pink Panther sitting on toilet <laughs> disco ball, parkade wood dance floor, queen size bed. Woo! Ready to roll, man. Uh -huh. Love it. Yep. They call it the van life. And I gotta say, I think I dig it. You know, one of the cool things about camping is even though it's still social and you're getting out and you're getting to meet people and you're getting to do things, you know, I think a lot of people are liking it right now, especially in these times, because a lot of times you go back to your own space. You know, you're not, it's not like being in a big hotel where it's, you know, 30 different people coming through every day. You go back to your own van or your own camper and 
you know, you've got some sense of security and home in that space and you can just move that space to different beautiful places around the country and enjoy it. I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful hobby. I think what these guys are doing is super rad. Makes me want to build a van myself, to be honest. And that's just it, y'all. There are a million things out there you can get into. In clubs and groups and organizations. If you feel like you need some new excitement in your life, man, spend a little time on Google. It's amazing how many cool groups of people are out there just trying to enjoy life the best they can. And uh, I think these guys are doing it right. I say guys, these guys, these guys and girls, right? Van life at the K River Campground. What a cool thing. I hope to see some more events with these guys in the future because I'll always make sure I'm home for them because they are super rad. All right, y'all, until the next video, remember life is short and you got to chase your dreams. You got to want your dreams and you got to stay stubborn. If you're looking for something to do or something to get into, put your mind to it. You stay stubborn on that goal and before you know it, you'll have reached it. I'm sure a lot of these guys out here have stayed stubborn, repairing and fixing and keeping some of these old historic vans on the road. Thank you.